Welcome back to the Dusty Ranch. Today we're going to do something a little different in that we're going to go back in time to when this machine had eight hours on it. I had a little issue right out of the gate with the hydraulics not wanting to work. So I hope you enjoy this. Hope this is helpful. Hope it's beneficial. And we're just going to go back magically in time. All right, so we've got 10 hours on the Woodmiser LT40 super hydraulic wide machine and had a little issue with hydraulics. Uh, let you hear what it's doing. Um, it's got a safety mechanism, which is the problem. Uh, it's got the safety mechanism right here. It's got to be in contact and it is. It's making contact. Uh, key is on now key is on and nothing sounds like the battery is dead but the battery is not dead we'll start it up battery is fine we can even go to diagnostics and we can look at the battery voltage on that and show you that the battery is fine Volts seems to be within normal. Battery is fine. The problem is right here. I can get you in there in a little different angle so that you can see. There's just enough of a gap in between that, in between these two contacts, uh, that it's not making good contact. Now, for my YouTube community out here, let me ask this question. Um, I understand why this safety mechanism is on here so that hydraulics cannot work if you are in a log and somebody's out here goofing around and accidentally bumps something here. However, I work alone. So the odds of my hydraulics getting bumped while I'm in the middle of a cut, very slim. What have you guys done, if anything, to circumvent this safety measure so that you don't have to worry about it um, I may try to figure something out on my own it seems like it's just a ground to battery so maybe that's a uh, maybe that's a potential modification that I make to this mill at a later date but as of today we're just gonna tighten it up I'm gonna see if I can uh, if I get you know six or eight months of service out of it after I you know, fix this little issue, then I might just leave it. But if it begins to be a the constant problem, we may seek alternative measures. All right, so I went ahead and just took this thing completely off here because I was like halfway there and I just wanted to see kind of what it did, how it worked. And this part is actually designed to be loose with these Allen headed screws right here they're on a spring so that you can slide this up and this actually will push up against Let's see if i can do it one-handed here push up against the rail and that spring will actuate that contact um, And just because I've already got my tools out, I'm gonna go ahead and just open this box right here up and I'll look inside just for future reference. All right, so I went ahead and took the panels off both the battery and this little control panel deal right here. So you've got, um, actually the ground is run to the bottom rail and then the hot wire runs into this fuse panel on the back of this box right here. You've got a 450 amp and a 225 amp fuse there. And then on the inside of your um, panel cover here, you've got two extra fuses. I assume the top one is a, the 225 and I assume the bottom one is the, the 450 one. So hot wire 
comes in, feeds to this contact, which gives power to your hydraulics. I guess the, I don't know. I don't know that there's any way to circumvent that uh, for continuous hydraulic power. I don't know, you guys tell me if, if you've done it. I would be curious. Uh, maybe this never gives me another problem once I adjust that contact there, but I'm not sure that I like the fact that I can only run my hydraulics when my head's all the way back. What if I'm, what if I'm over there? What if my head's there and I wanna run hydraulics? I, I'm not okay with that limitation, personally, I don't know. All right, so I've got everything buttoned back up. I've got the contact back on here. It's still loose. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bottom this thing out on the springs, and then I'm gonna back it back off, and then I'm gonna give it like, mm, maybe a, I think probably like a 16th of an inch, just a little push in, so it's making really good contact, but I've still got plenty of play in my spring so as these things start to wear, I can give it a little extra later on. So it's making really good contact now. I'm going to give it like a sixteenth of a push in. And I'm going to tighten that up right there. So I'm going to put you guys away for a moment. Tighten her up and then we'll see what she does. All right. Got her set there. I'm going to turn the key on. And for all, you know, purposes I should have... Hydraulics now. Let's see. Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. Everything's working as it should. Now, kind of the telltale is when I engage forward, give it a little forward motion, come off of the rail down here. It's off of that. I'm going to stop it. I'm going to bring it back on through that contact rail. Now, I should have contact. Let's see if she works. Uh, ooh, see, that, that's not going to make me happy. This is, the issue. this is an issue. If you're doing some production milling, which I plan on doing tomorrow, I, it should work on every part of that rail. I'm not happy about that. So maybe it was just a little sawdust build up right there. You can see where some sawdust is, but it should, it's working. But it did not want to work there for a moment, even after I adjusted it a bit. So the, uh, the tools will go with when I go on the mobile job tomorrow. And hopefully we don't have to use them, hopefully. It was just a little sawdust buildup, but I'm not happy about this. I don't like, so far, I'm not a fan of this little rail system right here. Maybe it's been a wood miser thing for a long time. I have no idea, but I'm not really, not really digging it. So fast forward about two months and another 20 some odd hours on the machine. And these hydraulics have worked fine, fantastically never another glitch that was the issue it was just that little contact there um, that little issue i had there towards the end was just some sawdust build up and i think that was from the contact not touching the rail and cleaning it off like it was supposed to uh, i took the machine the next day on a mobile job and worked it for about eight hours and however i did have another issue with it and we'll talk about that probably in the next video that was a very loud vehicle uh, probably we'll talk about that issue in the next video i have had no more issues with the hydraulics not wanting to work so thanks for joining us for this episode if you gain value from this video please consider uh, subscribing and tap that like button hit the notification bell um, as always don't forget to hug your mama and kiss your babies until we see you next time keep it dusty